welcome back to another video where we are creating a game engine using Google's Skia. Now in this video we are going to be continuing uh, working on our rotation. Now in one of our previous videos we added rotation however that was using our physics system. So if we wanted to work with rotation right now with our game engine we had we have to we have to apply a physics body to whatever object we're using um, and right now it only applies to our image sprite. So when we create an image, that's basically the only thing that is allowed rotation right now. Um, so uh, in this video, we're going to be just adding rotation to any object that we create, regardless of if it has a physics system or not. Now inside of our sprites class, we need to add a new variable up the top, and we are going to call this one rotation. Now, to finish off the sprite class, um, when we create our sprite bodies and we set our rotation of those bodies, right now we've defaulted all the values to zero. Instead, we just want to uh, basically replace all those values with our new variable, which is the rotation that we just created at the top of the sprite class. Now, inside of our main engine class, we are going to go down to the part where we render our sprites. Um, now, all we're going to do is very simple here. We're just going to copy and paste the code that rotates our sprites. And we're going to edit our, um, our sprite center variables uh, to the names of the sprite types. So, for example, if it was the sprite type image, I'd just be adding image after that variable. Um, now, when it is a sprite that doesn't have the physics, instead of making it uh, sprite center x equals sprite dot sprite body, we're just going to change that to sprite dot x or sprite dot y. And lastly, for the rotate degrees, uh, we are going to change that from sprite.spritebody.rotation to sprite.rotation. So once you've made all those changes, your code should look something like this. Now, just to test out the rotation, I'm going to disable the physics for our main image sprite and just change the rotation value that we just created. So all I'm doing here is changing our rotation by 0.1 and timesing that by our delta time. Uh, as you can see, this is our result and it's looking pretty good. Now, the last thing we are going to change to our sprite class um, is we're going to add a new function. It's going to be a public void and it's going to be called add talk. Now, instead of our sprite body, we actually have a function we can call called apply talk. And basically, all we're going to do is pass in a parameter to the function with a specific rotation and give the sprite body that specific amount of torque. Now, back inside of our demo game class, we are going to enable our physics again for our image sprite. And in the after draw, uh, I'm going to basically call that add torque function. So after messing around with the torque values just a bit, this is the end result, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. And with that, we are at the end of another great episode. Uh, and yeah, we've made some great progress this video. We've sort of completed the rotation for all of our current Sprout objects, regardless of if it has physics or not. Um, and we've added some talk to our physics enabled objects. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video series so far. Uh, if you are, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any ideas or suggestions, just leave that down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.